Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. I have my co-host here, Barbara Moore. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everybody. Great. Our guest today is psychic Joseph Labruto. Now, if you've been on our show before, uh, you know, it's interesting. It, it, you're also a medium in addition to a psychic, and you do uh, speaking to heaven events. Mm-hmm. Do, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that is? Oh, oh, hold on, yeah. Joseph. Joseph, I wanted to just shout out our Life, Laughter, Happiness number for everybody to call in because we right. are taking callers today, everybody. So it is 516-531-9874. So call now and line up to get your reading from Joseph Labruto. So, okay, go ahead, Joseph. Tell us about the, what did Johnny say? It was the... Well, he's uh, talking about my, heaven, speak, my speaking to heaven. Um, and then, and oh. that's, the name in the, that's the name of one of my books that I've written, too, called Speaking to Heaven. And um, it's an event that I do where I have a group setting, a gallery setting, I call it, where um, I give messages to the loved ones that are crossed over. And what what is different than most mediums is I have this ability where the loved ones will merge with me. So I'll be like in a large crowd audience. I normally get the audience going by having everybody count out loud, one to ten, say their first name out loud three times. Because um, if you hear 100 people shout their names three times, it sounds really incredible. And then I focus, I hear loved ones coming in, and I'll get focused on a person. And when I bring that person through, sometimes what happens is that the deceased person will merge into me. Um, it's almost like the movie Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg when Patrick Swayze jumped into Whoopi's body to dance with Molly. That's yeah. what happens with me. So I will have, like, if I have your father here and he's coming through, all of a sudden the fa- I'll step aside and the father will talk directly to that person, word for word. And that's, this is some of what my, my big events are when I, when I do this type of events. And those are my speaking to oh, heaven events. That so. sounds well, so exciting. I mean, to have it happen, but also a little bit strange and, I don't know, maybe scary. What happened the first time that, that you experienced that? Were you taken yeah, that's back? Happened, or that's did you why I tell it? people... I tell people up front to prepare. I prepare them for it, so just in case it happens. It doesn't happen with everyone, but it does happen quite frequently. And, well, that um, sure is well, a so, And I get a lot of stories. You know, I get a lot of emails or testimonials, people telling me, wow, my dad was talking to me. It was incredible. And, um, you know, I could share a story where um, I was doing a group reading. I was reading for a woman, and I looked at her, and I said, is this your boyfriend or fiancé passed away? said, well, it was my boyfriend. And I looked at her and said, he wanted to marry you? He said, well, that's what his friends told me. I said, he died on a motorcycle, didn't he? And she said, the day, yeah. And you were supposed to go on a cruise and he died on a motorcycle? And she said, the day before the cruise, he died on a motorcycle. And I said, yes, that was the cruise. He wanted to propose marriage to you. And then all of a sudden, oh. I, all of a sudden, I felt him jump into my body. And I got down on one hand and knee and I grabbed her hand. And then I took my index finger and I drew a heart right on the palm of her hands. She looked at me and she started crying and she said, Joseph, he used to draw hearts all over my body. And that's why I know it's him. And then I proposed marriage oh. to her from him. <laughs> so. Wow. Well, yeah. I just got chills. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I love that. You know, that's, Go that's ahead, Johnny. That might be a good lead into a caller. You know, because I, I, I oh. seen the callers. And um, and I want to put this person on. This is area code nine five four. Nine five four, you're on the air. Hi, caller. You're on live with psychic Joseph Labruto. How are you today? Oh, great. Thank you for taking my call. Hi, Joseph. I haven't heard you in a long time, and I miss oh. hearing you and, and seeing you. And who's uh, and who's I calling? Hope that, I hope that you might be able to connect with. Uh, Possibly an aunt who I have a passing anniversary this month, or a cousin also who was very close to me. Male, male or female cousin? 
Uh, female. Okay. And, and what uh, is your name? And what is your name? Mary. Hi, Mary. And we have met before. I take it since you said you yes, haven't heard have. from me for a long time. And you're, yeah. you're from the Fort Fort Lauderdale area, the nine five four area uh-huh. code. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't want to say too much because I let spirit come through. That's, that's okay. So you said aunt or a female cousin that you have through. Count one to five for me and just say your first name three times. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Mary. 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 Okay. I know you said aunt and the females, but I'm feeling I'm feeling a male that wants to come out first, Mary. Is there a father figure or um, a male that needs to say they're sorry for you for some reason? It just has to I apologize. I could understand that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this your father, by the way? Yes. All right. Sometimes what happens, Mary, is that um, loved ones on the other side, they see their life flash in front of them, and they realize things that they have done to family members or they could have done things better. And mm-hmm. When we pass away, we meet with those loved ones, and normally we talk things through. But as a medium, I'm able to connect with them beforehand so you can live the rest of your life knowing how they feel and how, they're, how they, he wants to say he's sorry for one thing. And he's just apologizing about how he treated the family and how things went. And he just, he just asked for forgiveness for you and just wants oh, to say he's sorry. That's very okay. good. Thank you. So I needed to... I needed I needed to bring him through first. Now, is there a J, somebody like Joni or anything like that? Oh, somebody yeah, that's my other Aunt Joni. Um, she just had a birthday on the 18th as well. Okay, and she's passed as well then? Oh, yeah. Or alive. Uh, okay, so I it's, have Aunt Joni here. <laughs> Joni is in spirit, my other oh. aunt. Uh, okay, so Aunt Joni is here as well. Now, who's? Well. I know you're Mary, but is there another Mary as well in, who's passed, yes. Mary Marie? Who's who's Aunt yes. Mary? Yes. Okay. Is it Aunt Mary? No. Okay. Is it a grandma? Who's Mary? Yes. Grandma. Okay. Is this still on the Joni side? I want to see which side of the family I'm on. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm I'm pulling out the Joni side of the family right Three. now, and I have your grandmother Mary coming in. Mother Mary, I'm going to call her. <laughs> yes, on here. She was Catholic too. <laughs> <laughs> she was Catholic. Okay, that yeah. was the mother Probably Mary. Probably wise. Uh, yeah. Here, okay. Um, so I'm pulling her through now. Who had cancer, as well? My cousin. I. Who? I'm sorry. The cousin. The cousin. Your husband. Your the cousin. cousin. Okay, the female, the female cousin. cousin. Okay. Okay, I got the person who had cancer. I don't know if it was breast cancer, but I have upper right. end, right here, yeah. and where it kind of mastitized. And yeah. shortness of breath, and she said that she it took everything out of her, but she did yeah. everything in her power to get healthy, and she went through the treatment, she went through everything, but sometimes Absolutely. the chemo just takes too much from you, and you know she just she said she lost she she won some battles, but she lost the war, and that's how she's telling that's me. Right. That's but exactly she was always right. but she always was a fighter though, and she oh, always yeah. made, you know she wouldn't give up until the end. Oh, no. She wants to give you a big hug and kiss, by the way, Mary. Oh, I miss her a lot. <laughs> she just wants to let you know that I'm at December. Yeah. She wants to let you know she's at peace, and she looks like. Remember when she was 18 years old? This is what she's showing me. 18 to 20 years of age, she's showing me, and that's how she looks in heaven right now. Oh, and wow. I think that was a good age for her. And I don't. And I guess if you were growing up, maybe you could remember her teenage years. Yeah, we grew um, up together, very close. Okay. Like All right. Mm-hmm. So like almost like sisters? Yes. Okay. So this is what she's showing me, 18 to 20 years old, um, and and she's showing me just how beautiful she is, and this is how she looks in heaven. Now, the yes. aunt that we're talking about, was she almost like a mother figure to you as well? Yes, uh-huh. very much okay. so. Mm-hmm. I just have her just watching over you, being a part of your life, and um, you looked up to her. Yes, and very much. She told, what she wants to tell me, uh, Mary, is that she's always watching over you. She promises to be there. Um, I'm holding a piece of jewelry of hers. Is this something that you have of hers as well? I have, I have some of her jewelry. That's correct. Okay. So that's what mm-hmm. she's showing me, the piece of jewelry you have of hers as well. The month of July, does that make sense to you? Uh 
Do I, I have Ruby, or unless there's a Ruby. Mm, I can't place it right now. It's not a birthday. Could be a death or anything or an anniversary. If it's not July, it could be June or January well, or the J June, month. June, wait a minute. July was the cousin's birth. She's born in July, the cousin. All right, so she showed me her birthstone then. Okay. Yeah, that, right. that's her. They're both overlapping each other on there, yeah, they and it makes sense. Too. I feel yeah, like it was, makes it sense because I feel like it was it was in her her aunt as well or something. Yes. On here. Oh, okay. Yes. And we that's why I feel like that. So, so we have your cousin, we have Joni, we have Mary, and we have this aunt. I haven't got her name yet. <laughs> right, right. Coming through, but it's her passing she's just, month. But she, but she's just telling me that. Um, how close she was growing up, you were growing up, and how you, how she was a big influence in your life. Oh, and yeah. she just wanted to let you know every – was it a hospice situation with her, though? At no, the very she end? actually went very quickly. Okay. Um, no. Was it a hospital? It wasn't a hospital or anything? No, no. Well, uh, yeah, just, she was in the hospital at the okay. end, but it was, it okay. was uh, sudden. Unexpected. Okay, that's that's why. If it's not hospice, it's hospital. I don't have her at home. I have her in hospital care um, yeah. when she passed but away. But Joni was. Joni, well, Joni was in a nursing home and eventually hospitalized okay. at the end. Okay. But your aunt, she shows me she was in a hospital. And um, and just something about getting tests, and they couldn't figure out what was happening, and and then shortness of breath. Does that make sense? Yeah, she had a sudden heart attack, and... Um, the operation okay. to save her uh, was not successful. Okay, so that's what she's telling me about. Yeah. Right, well, she says her love. Again? Go ahead, Jody. Sorry. Was that was a great questions. reading. <laughs> Is that the end? Okay. That was a great reading. And Thank you, Mary. I, yes. I can imagine, you. Mary, you're super happy with it. I mean, Absolutely. wow, Joseph. He's, John, he's one of the best. He's right on. I I wish we could talk longer, but uh, I know you have other calls. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're going we're, you know we're to try can to get to many people as we can. Thank uh, you very much. Oh, Mary, much. I, I do have an online show every Wednesday, a Zoom show on Facebook. So if you tune in every Wednesday at 8 p.m. I'll go to your website then. If you get mm-hmm. your name, it's I'll a, go to your website. A, and yep, it's a, under up. events every Wednesday night, on, and it's, it's broadcast live on Zoom. And you can it's Zoom so in or you can telephone in, and, and you can get back in again. Okay. Oh, that's great. We'll do okay. that. Thanks, great. So, uh, uh, thank, thank you, Mary. Well. Thank you. Jo- thank you. Joseph, okay. I yeah. was just going to say that, Johnny, hold on, please. I was just going to do a shout-out to let people know that they can reach you elsewhere. I just am on your Facebook page right now. So, everybody, you can find Joseph at Joseph Labruto the Third. And go. then that took me to your wonderful Facebook page where you can contact you. You can check out your website, and your website is ourjourneyoflife.com, correct? There you go. Now you can see who you're talking to. Yes, and I, yeah. you know what? I've seen you before because you were on the show um, a year and a half ago about, and but I remember visiting you before and seeing your face. So awesome. And that was amazing, though. I wanted to say that the talent you have, the gift that you have, is really phenomenal. So, wow, you've got names. And, I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you, Johnny? I want my reading. But maybe a little later if we get through some of these callers. I'm sure. I'm sure. But I don't want to wear you out too much. We, um, All right. Now, are you ready for another caller? Yeah, we we can take one more, and then then we can go into a little more talking a little bit, so I can take a break. Yeah. So callers, but we can go ahead. And, yeah, we'll, there you go. if you have a if you have a few if you have a big queue full of people, I want to make sure I get to some of them. Yeah, okay. yeah, we have um, a few, but uh, what we'll do is what we'll do is we'll, we'll I'm sure what we'll do is, is, is we'll look at this next one here. Area code three one two. You're on. Hi, there. caller. You're Hello. on live with. Psychic medium Hi. Joseph Labrito, how are you? What's your name? I'm good. My name is Elizabeth, and I'm from Chicago. Welcome, Elizabeth. It's the first time 
talking with well, me? I'm not from I'm not from Chicago. I'm in Chicago. <laughs> You're yeah, in Chicago. Uh, yes, it okay. Is. okay. Yes, it is. The first first time. How'd you hear about tonight's show? Uh, I went. I just went on uh, Blog Talk Radio and I saw it and I said, "Why not listen?" Wonderful. Well, welcome, um, Elizabeth. Is Thank it? you. Is that the first? Elizabeth. I want you to. Yeah. <laughs> How I work, Elizabeth, and for those of you who are listening uh, who wants to get in touch, I'm also a psychic as well. So if you have any questions about your life path, um, like a magic eight ball, you ask the question as specific as you can. For loved ones, I'm a direct dial, um, like how Mary wanted to connect with her cousin and aunt. I just need a relationship with the person you need to connect with, and then we can go from there. So, Elizabeth, who would you like to connect with today? My partner who passed away February 12th of this year. Okay. Male or female? He's a male. Okay, that's all I need to know. When you say partner, it could be either way. Okay, I want you to count one to five. Say your first name three times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. You're welcome. For some reason, I feel COPD, I feel chest, I feel lungs very heavy. And if it's not him, I could be tuning into someone else. Does this make sense to it's you? It's him. Yes. Okay. Did he have COPD in a way? Yes. Or, he was a smoker. Okay. okay. I just have coughing and trying to catch my breath and everything. Mm-hmm. And I have slowing down at the very end. Um, yes. Getting sick. Elizabeth, if it wasn't for you, sweetheart, I wouldn't have lived as long as I'd lived. And this is the words I'm hearing him telling me to tell you. And what he's telling me is that you tried to get him healthy when you were together. Um, try to get him to eat right or quit smoking. Uh, just just healthy lifestyle. But then he wanted yes. to enjoy life. But he wanted to enjoy life. He says, I'd rather enjoy life than I have to suffer through life. And yes. I think he had a, you had the talk before <laughs> like that with him. He's a very funny guy, by the way. Um, yes, he like is. I, just picked, I just could pick up his sense of humor just coming out through me <laughs> and everything. Yes. That's him. Okay. <laughs> Before his passing, I have you holding his hand. Um, did, he, did you make him promise to come to you in dreams or anything like that? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I have you holding his hand, and you, tell, you told him, you better come to me. Show yes. yourself. Show me Absolutely. signs on there. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, how's it working for you, Elizabeth, he says. This is one way I'm coming to you. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love you, and I love everything that's going on right now. Loving it. <laughs> okay. He's showing me a ring for some reason now, and I don't know if yes. it's a- it's a it's a promise ring, but he didn't want to jinx anything. Sometimes when we get married, it may jinx it, but then he didn't uh-huh. want to lose you too. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't marry but you. He, no, he didn't. But he said he wanted to, but he didn't want to jinx anything. Um, <laughs> yes. But was but was there a special ring like a, that he wanted to give you just to know that you were taken? Yeah. Okay. I found it That's, after he passed. Okay, wonderful. So he's talking about that special. I don't want to call it a friendship. He's calling the my, my lover ring. That's the way he wants to say my lover yes. ring. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So, I found it right after he passed. Yes, uh, I did. Good. So he's glad that his, you found the ring. His secret hiding place wasn't that good. <laughs> so you meant he bought the ring and he never gave it to you yet. Uh, he, after he did after he passed. <laughs> well, after he passed, but I'm talking about when he was alive. Yeah. All right. So this is important, Elizabeth. This is his way. Right. You know, I shared a story about the engagement thing earlier. This is almost like the same scenario that he wanted to give you this ring when he was alive, mm-hmm. and he didn't have a chance to do that. So he wanted to use my voice and talk to you about the ring that you found oh, that he wished I that haven't. he wish that he wished he could have gave it to you and look into your eyes and tell you how much he loves you. And he and oh, that's a thank and, you. And he, Amy said it, that that is a forever ring. That was giving you my heart forever and ever. Thank you, John. So, thank you. Well, I want okay. I want to I want to thank you Elizabeth for calling. Yeah, thank, thank you. You, you. You brought a lot of healing to my heart. Thank you. 
Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, well, amazing. now you know who I am. You, you could just go look me up at my website, and you'll know, you'll know who I am. So you know, I gotta say it's amazing. I, I, last time you were on here, I don't remember you doing that five, four, three, two, one thing. Is that a new thing? No, I've been doing that since the beginning. Uh, you know, I, I try to get I people set up because when I, when I have them. When I have them count, they focus on their loved ones that they want to hear. Because how a medium works is the loved ones focus on them, and they bring them here, and I'm able to tap into them through them. So if I have you count one to five and say your first name three times, as you're counting, you're thinking about that person you want to hear from. I understand. I get all that, but But I don't remember you doing that last time you were on the show. Do you remember that, Barbara? No, I don't remember. But it was a long time ago. I mean, and, it well, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes okay. I just I, I do that for just uh, put an anchor in there. So oh, I yeah. change around a little bit. But normally when I do readings, I, would, I, I have people count one to ten normally on my private sessions and say their first name three times normally. So um, it's a connection. Well, that was another amazing reading. So I'm just totally wowed right now. I mean, I yeah. have so many questions, though, about you, you know, mm-hmm. your personal story. How young were you when you realized that you had this gift? You know, I was I was born with this gift, but I didn't know I had a gift. Um, everyone looked normal to me when spirit used to come into my bedroom and talk to me. It wasn't it, it wasn't like the Hollywood movies where they're all creepy and bloody and scary. It was nothing like that. They were regular people. They just used to make me laugh. And when I was about 10, my grandmother passed away and she was the only one that I knew that was really close when she passed. And I attended her funeral and my dad talked to me a little bit about death and about heaven and how we're going to say our goodbyes to grandma. But Days afterwards, I was going into my bedroom, and all of a sudden, there she was, sitting on my bed, looking at me, smiling. And now it scared me, because now I knew I was seeing ghosts, because she was buried, she's dead, and here she is, plain as day. And then I realized every other spirit now, then I, that's when I could tell spirit from real people then. And I realized that these people coming into my room when I'm, before I go to bed, just to make me laugh, and thought they weren't real people. Um, I remember running out of my room screaming, but I can hear her voice saying, Joey, I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. I just want to say I love you. And those are the last words I heard from her. And I shut down completely. I shut down for many years. It was in my early 20s when I started to open up. And it was my ex-wife who was, she was a psychic, and she got me involved in going to psychic workshops. And when I went to these workshops, my gifts started to excel Um, doing psychic readings for people. And I remember talking to my mother about it, and that's what I found out. My mother never told me, but she just told me on her side of the family. My father's Sicilian, my mother's Puerto Rican. On the Puerto Rican side, generations of family members are psychics and mediums and healers. And she told me about her grandmother, who's my great-grandmother, who thousands of people used to come. She said she used to talk to the dead. She used to touch people and heal people as well and tell people about their future. I'm doing that now. I'm a healer. I have healed people. I tell pe- people about their future and the mediumship that I'm doing now too as well. Um, so this is, this is kind of, I was born with this um, gift, and I started to enhance it more, and I started practicing more in my mid-20s to my 30s. And about 10 years ago, um, I decided to go full-time and do this as a professional. Wow. About ten years ago. Well, the uh, are you ready for another caller? Yeah, we could do that. Um, I'm not. Well, hold on, Johnny. You I had, didn't John. even ask him many questions about himself. Yeah. So yeah. I do remember Hold that on. now. The the story with the grandma. I do. Uh huh. It's so funny. I remember that. Yes. But that uh-huh. is so crazy. A little boy sitting there, and that happens to him. So you you like withdrew and you held it in because then exactly. did you think was, okay I'm different it scared you, me. yeah, yeah and you did you me. tell your dad 
Yeah, my dad thought it was, it was my imagination. Oh, you're dreaming. It's your imagination. <laughs> and my mom didn't say mom. anything. Yeah, uh, no, she, she didn't say anything till later when I started to go. I was going to these classes, and I started my ability started to get better. And then I became a channel first, where um, I, the movie came out, Shirley MacLaine, where um, she went to Europe and saw this person who's a channel who channels spirit guides. And I wanted to learn, and, I t- and somebody mentored me here in, in the South Florida, took me under her wing, and mentored me to become a trance channel. So I went into trance, and I started bringing spirit guides through. Around this time, two of my cousins, um, they're married, my cousin Joey and his wife Mary Lou, they used to come to my channel sessions all the time, and I was married at the time too when I was channeling. But around this time, my cousin Joey passed away of a heart attack. He was 34. He was very young. But again, he opened up my mediumship abilities. I went to his funeral, but as I was driving home, sitting at a red light, thinking about him, thinking, you know, angry with God, how can somebody so young with a father of two pass away of a heart attack like that? All of a sudden, I heard his voice clear as day. I looked to the passenger side. There he was smiling at me, and he wanted me to talk to his wife, Mary Lou, and give her a message. And long story short, I told Mary Lou what he had to say, and I was 100% correct. He opened up heaven's gates for me, and ever since that, loved ones started coming in again. And I was probably about 28 years old when my mediumship ability started to kick in again. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. goodness. Because that's a gift that should be shared. I so. mean, this is amazing. You can really help so many people. I mean, you know that, obviously. And you change their lives because they could go on for years and years and just miss and have that hole in their heart and that empty feeling, and then what you give them in such a short amount of time can fill that void. Wow. It gives them, it gives closure. It, it does heal. Um, it shows what it does. It shows there is life after death. That this is not it. That our loved ones go and they're 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 in a far away place. I teach heaven is within, and I have to recommend my book Speaking to Heaven because I talk all about this about heaven, where is heaven, how to speak to your loved ones, about their transitions after their passing, and um, and signs, how to look for signs. It's all in my book, Speaking to Heaven. Um, but, but it does give closure, and knowing that your loved ones are watching, like the last reading with Elizabeth, talking about that ring that she said she found after his, his passing, so he wanted to give that ring when he was alive to her. So he was able to say to her how much he loves her, and giving her the and said that I really wanted to see your face when I gave you the ring, and that was something he couldn't say because he passed away. So, and now and that, he has. And, so. and now, now he got to say it, and she got to say hear it from from his 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 lips through my lips, so to say. And, and not and only that, but she'll have it recorded. And Joseph, yeah. I mean, this this show, she can send that to all of her friends and say, see, see, I mean, there you go. there's no denying there you go. it. He didn't know people's names before this. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. I love it. Okay. Oh, that's right. great. So are you uh, ready for the caller? Let's let's take another call. Okay. 860, you are on the air. Hi, caller. Hi. What's your name? You're on with. Psychic medium Joseph Labrudo. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Duncan. Hi. Hi. It's Amla. How are you? Amala. I knew it. Great. <laughs> Joseph, this is Amala. She's a caller that we hear from a lot, which is awesome. Hi, Amala. And where are you Hi, calling I'm from? I'm from I'm Connecticut. Doing well. You're yes. calling from Connecticut. Okay, welcome. What can Thank I do you. for you this evening? I do have a question, so I don't know. Is that okay to just ask you? Mm-hmm. I'm like a magic eight ball. Ask the question as specific <laughs> as you can. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of specific, but it's based on a theme. Barbara and Jonathan kind of know this. It's been happening for uh, months now. I've been clearing a lot, and something happened today, which really is kind of, it's a bummer, but I'm wondering what this what what's the main why is this happening time and time again? I know universe provides. I know universe always. You know, there's a reason why things happen. So, bottom line, I got snubbed. I was I'm I'm a speaker based on myself being blind. I'm actually legally blind. I'm not completely blind yet. So, bottom line, 
I was supposed to be in the show, and I was invited. And basically, the producers was like, I don't think you're going to fit in for us. And basically, no. And I was excited to do it. And I know, and she brought it up herself. She goes, it's your vision, and, you know, we can't help you that way. And the thing okay. is, the funny thing is, Jonathan would understand this. It was all it was was technical difficulties. Anybody can go through tech- technical difficulties. Vision issues now, or not. Now, was yeah. this live broadcasting where you're going to be at a studio, or was it going to be through, like, an Internet type thing? It was supposed to be through um, Facebook Live, yes, through that one okay. of the producers. Yes. Okay, it's supposed to be through a Facebook Live. All right. Yes. All right. What I'm hearing, Amala, is that things do happen for a reason, and I and it's almost like they're making excuses up, and that was just one of the excuses that they had to make about your vision and everything. I, right. I feel like it's more. I think it has to do more about that. I feel like they're 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 trying. Their guess that they're trying to do is sometimes they want to pick somebody who has a strong follower following. And yes. um, that they could pull more people into to their page and so forth. And I think um, right. something came up where they had an opportunity with a stronger follower um, uh, okay. to come up to do that. And that's what I feel it is. Um, okay. You need to be on a program that comes from heart, compassion. You have a story exactly. to tell. And yep. I feel you have a story to tell. And okay. and most people who who are who are in your position with disabilities and and you could help so much um it's like through you. your it's like through your eyes they can see and what what you went through and you can help so many the right situation will come right it has to be a program where it's more giving where it's more where the person who's putting the program it's like Jonathan over here and Barbara it's more from the heart <laughs> Um, yes. type thing. And it's not like how many numbers can you pull or how many people can you pull this way. Um, I don't feel we're going to have a good attendance. It's, it's, that's that's, that's that where you need to be right now. Be patient. It's very, impor- it's very important to have okay. a, um, a, a good bio- biography about yourself um, on everything. So do you have something like that, a biography? I have a book out. Have okay. a book out. It's a memoir and self-help book. It came out last October. Perfect. It's already out. Okay. So I already have the second um, book too. That's out too. Yeah. Just just be patient on there. Okay. You know, I had opportunities to get on shows too, and, and fly me to California, and last second they pull on me too, and they said that okay. either the show didn't go or they got another psychic in there. <laughs> so yeah. and it happens. It just happens, and I just don't let it get to me. I just you know, if it was not meant to be, it's meant to you be. Know it's what? Not. Can I just it. talk from the heart? Can I just say something from the heart versus a little bit? It's just uh-huh. kind of like, you know what it is? Bottom line, I'm not making excuses for myself. And this lady really, I'm just going to say one thing about this lady, the producer. What really hurt me is that she basically said I was playing victim. Do you know how many times people think I play or, or they assume I'm the blind lady, victim lady? There's no way. Ask Jonathan and Barbara who know me. There's no, no way. way. I, I always forget. Well, Absolutely. This is how, but yeah. this is where she, this is what she's coming from, and this is how she projected to you that you're playing victim, and that was her way it's, out. It's so. the, you know what it is, though? I'm, I know not to take it personally to get, what, get to what you were saying, it's, but the problem is, in air quotes, is this. I get up, I fall again, and, and that happens with life anyway. But as a disabled lady, it's t- it's every day, Joseph. It sucks. There's no other way to say it. I am snubbed at the grocery store. People get mad at me with their actions because I bump into them. Now I look normal. That's the issue, and I use a cane. People don't see the okay. cane. Who's the blind people? Not me. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's coming from the heart, and that's what sucks about this is that how many times am I going to get snubbed until somebody says, hey, yeah, we want you. you know what What's going to happen is it's, it's through your books that you have written and someone who really loves what you have written, and they're going to see you through you through what you have written. So just be patient. Just be patient through it. Um, okay. You know, and, and don't let this discourage you because I do – if you ask me psychically, what do I see for you in the future? 
I see that yes. um, the, the things that you write about is almost like self-care and helping yes. people. And this is what yes. you're writing about. And someone, maybe a, a, a producer or a publication, will have yes. somebody, like maybe a family member, a mother or a father, who is like you, who can, you touch them by, by heart. Oh, my dad was just like that. I can understand what she's going through. And that's okay. when you're going to grab that person. So just be okay. patient. I see it happening. And okay. Jonathan helped me get in, um, with the last thing I'm going to say that Jonathan helped me with the video to send my first book to the Ellen show. So we don't know. I sent it to you. Oh, that's nice. There you go. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's a step in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you I appreciate your words. Thank you so very much, all of you. You guys are so supportive. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful for you. And you guys, you're welcome. Thank you so much. We do actually help. (laughs) Yes, I love Amala. And you know what? And just act like you already do have that moment. That feel that moment happening when you do touch somebody's life, like Joseph says, will happen. And then that's a part of manifesting. Imagining it like you already have it, right, Joseph? I mean, isn't that good to think like that—that that you already have something that you want so badly? That's it. Um, we're we're strong co-creators, and and we just have to stop putting doubt within ourselves. People are always going to tear us down. There's going to be a lot of obstacles in our way. That's why we're put here on this earth plane. We just have to be stronger and overcome the obstacles and try not to let the everyday things um, bring us down and just kind of be stronger and just say, you know, okay, if that's the other person's problem, maybe this is what they are. Um, but I, I do feel good things, um, and I feel it's the book. And it's going to be somebody who has a family member who, who's going through blindness that you're going to touch that has connections. Okay. okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Ha, ha, ha. Were you, okay, this is what I do when I watch my Seahawks. And I'm wondering, when you were watching your, let me guess, Miami Dolphins, do okay. you, do you, <laughs> do you <laughs> say, because I know you're from Florida, uh, do you say, you have won, winning, you're winning, you did it, sack, sack. I do that through the whole game. I will not <laughs> think one bad thought. And then they That's do funny. win. And then they do yeah. sack. I do you do that? I know. I normally say, "Ah, we'll get them next year." <laughs> really? You know? So, so you I, don't put I, your so, psychic so, into yeah. it? No, not when I'm watching the no. game or anything. If myself, my personal life, I would. But when I watch a game and I see where it's going, I say, "Ah, they'll get them next year. They're build. They're, they're building up. This is a building year." <laughs> okay. so. I'm just kidding, though. <laughs> I I actually saw you post uh, the football game on your Facebook, so I thought, oh, definitely, uh, he's gotcha. a fan. Yeah, I'm a yeah. big dolphin But fan. Um, I yeah. do that. But I take it to that level of, like, I can't have anything out there in the universe be coming from me negative that maybe could jinx it, it. But it's easy to do. It's easier to think negative than positive on things. And to rewire our brain, it's very hard to keep thinking positive and trying to manifest mm-hmm. because there's so much that can go wrong and, and turn it in the wrong, especially with 2020. 2020 is cha- this year for challenges. Everybody's going through challenges and change oh, yeah. this year. So we just have to work hard and, and get through what we need to get through. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I, my first, yeah, I was my first book to, I wrote, yeah. the first book I wrote called Is There More to Life Than What We Know? I talk a little bit more about manifestation in that book and how we are co-creators and how we can create to ourselves as well. And, oh, I um, love that. And, and a little bit about our soul journey and why – why we're here on this earth and why we go through obstacles and everything. And that's, that's pretty much on that book. My first book I wrote is they're more to life than what we know. So, Oh, that would be interesting to read. Everybody go yeah. to Joseph's Facebook and website and check out yep. his book too. And yeah, I got yes, I want to them know in your book, do you touch upon ever? I'm curious about what are spirits like? What do they think like? I don't know if anybody could really know that answer, but maybe you do. Because I want to know, did did your grandma know that she was scaring you? And how did that make her feel? Or do they just completely think 
completely different than we could ever imagine. It, it they come through a different way, and um, I think it was just her final way of saying goodbye because I'd never seen her again. If she kept on popping up again afterwards, it would have been a different story. But I I completely shut down, and my whole ability shut down after that. And she probably didn't know, um, but she knew I was very close to her, and and I had this gift and open, so she just needed to say goodbye. Um, but in the have, she, in the have book, you tried she, to say, Grandma? Hello, Grandma. I didn't mean to. Mean that. Well, I missed. Not, I want to talk to you more. Was, not when I was ten years old. <laughs> but now it's a different. Yeah, now it's a different story. It's very hard for loved ones. It's like my my father passed away last year, and I stayed, I still okay. haven't heard from him yet, and um, still seeking mediums to bring him through. He still hasn't come through yet. I feel him. What if they I never guess, believed you know. in you do feel him? That's nice. Um, and yeah, we're so sorry for your loss, they, if, too. It, when they're in spirit form, it, it, they go back to um, being godlike again. So even though they didn't believe in it here, they change on the other side, and they're more okay. open to it. So, okay, they, that's you know. interesting. Yeah. I find all this all stuff right. so interesting. So thank you, and I'm, I'm going to check out your books. And you know what we have now? I thought this up we're just starting a book club and everybody who has been on our show that has written a book and it's you know published well there you go. we will feature that so i'm just Good. starting i got the first book from right. another one of our psychics and i'm going to start with that and then you know we have other people that are not psychics so we'll you know we'll we'll mix it up a bit but I would well, love I, I, to I have, feature one of them. I have written three yours. of them. Yeah, I've written three of them. So, hmm. and I'm working oh, on wow. the fourth one now. So, okay. yeah. wow, well, we can't each wait, one. right, Johnny? Yeah, we so. do. Are you ready for another caller? We'll take another caller. <laughs> okay, there you go. Seven seven five. Hi, caller. <laughs> You're Hi. on with uh, Joseph. Hi, just wanted to introduce you a little bit. So what is your name and how are you doing? Well, thank you. My name is Wendy from Sacramento. And Joseph, it's an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I take it this is the first time meeting you, Wendy? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. And I've been counting the minutes. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, how can I help you tonight? Well, um, Joseph, I... I uh, had my 69th birthday on July the 6th. Um, oh, I work we, share for a medical... we, sh- we share the same birthday. I'm July 6th also. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. And, All right, um, go ahead. I, I work in a medical insurance call center. Um, and on January 14th, I became ill. I, I couldn't walk. And it's related to car accidents, et cetera. Um, I've been very diligent about doing everything perfectly with paperwork, and my employer is tired of waiting for me to rehabilitate. So they're going to administratively separate themselves from me very shortly here, probably early October. And But the good news is there's group insurance that will help me to get by through October of 2021 a whole year away so but all i will need is periodic notes from my doctor stating wendy is not well enough to do her job every couple of months my current doctor has approved me off all this time um but she was kind of uh, short with me last time i spoke with her so uh next i'm going to be contacting her she approved me off through January 28th. So um, if she doesn't approve me, then I'll switch to a new doctor. So will I be successful in being uh, approved off through October 2021 so that I can collect my group insurance? You know, I have a yes right off the bat, but I I feel there's other ways, too, that for some reason I feel like you haven't seen an attorney on this. Um, about keeping your insurance in some way, and that that your um, business or your um, employer can't drop you from there because of this accident. Um, I was talking to an attorney by the last name of Lee, and he said, "Well, we can't do anything until they until they fire you." 
And okay. so he said to let him know if they fire me. I'm not sure he's the attorney for me, but um, do you think that I'll find an attorney that will help me? Because what I feel is going to happen is if if they feel you're going to um, litigate this, they're going to they're going to it's cheaper to keep you on the insurance plan than going through attorney fees and getting attorneys to fight this. So before they before they eliminate you, I would talk to an attorney. It may just take a letter that you're going to, you know, maybe take this to court and stuff, and they're going to look at the expenses of keep, probably going to be cheaper to keep you on the insurance policy than having a higher attorney for them and go through this to fight this. And that's what my gut feeling says on there. Well, yeah, I – um, they're going to fire me from my job because it's taking too long for me to recover. Um, yeah, so, and they, but, they, 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 a, but that's I, I feel you have a case on that. That's what they're telling me because of that. It's it's because cool. you're sick well, and you can't recover, and you have doctor's notes that you're having a hard time recovering too. And something about keeping you on the poli- something about keeping you on the policy for some reason. Even if they let you go um, from the job. But holding on to your insurance, maybe, um, where they well, you have to keep well, on insurance Well, I get insurance my insurance policy. through a different company. I, yeah, I, don't, it's, I, I can't afford their insurance. My medical insurance is through. Mm. A, I have different okay. medical insurance through a totally different company. Um, and my attorney <laughs> said, don't mention anything. Just wait and see what happens. So I've kept my mouth shut. But um, – so will I be changing my doctor um, in January? Will my do- I'm going to keep my same doctor uh, until she stops uh, extending me. Will she, will she extend me when I speak to um, her in late January? Yes, I have a yes on that, that she will do that. And, but will I eventually change to a new doctor, and will she continue to write me I off feel, through October? I, I, feel, I feel she's going to be with you for a while. Okay. So, and yeah. Um, I share an apartment with my sister, Leslie. We want to move. Our lease is up in April of next year. Um, Will she and I move to a new place? We'd like to move to a place called the Reserve, but it's rather pricey. Uh, Will we move together to a new place next year, Joseph? I don't feel the move is going to be a good move. I don't feel like it's going to be good timing, so to say, in April. Um, next will year. Will be later next year. The it, end? it would be. La- it would be later. Maybe. Maybe a year. Like a year from now, in the fall, October, November next year. I could see stuff going like that. I feel by April, it, it has to do with your health and stuff like that. What you're going through, and maybe exactly. um, financial, financial, um, getting finances to afford things, and that's what's holding everything back. I feel. So, so later in the year next year, will we move to the reserve or uh, um, together? I, feel I, I don't know if it's going to be the reserve, but it's going to be a place that you're going to like, though. It may be an alternative to the reserve, um, but it's, it's it's a place that you're going to like, though. Okay. So. And so will I be successful in litigating? Uh, uh, they are going to release me. So well, that's, will I be that's successful the, that, in that, Yes. In litigating, I feel you are because I feel that they, they, they want to take care of it instead of keeping, you know, I, or going through litigation, litigation, litigation. I feel like they're going to do something. So and that's why, that's why I said earlier, it's very important with the litigation. Okay. Is, is attorney by the last name of Lee the one from here? Should I look for a different one? Um, it's going to be an attorney that does this. I'm not sure which one. It's the one you feel comfortable with, but it is good. You know, see how it is. Well, but I feel that you're on the right track. I feel like you're on the right path right now. So, okay. Just, just, just and and hopefully doing. the new. And you know what? You're right on track um, about everything um, because actually I already kind of knew it would be later in the year, probably after the group insurance runs out in October that we'd be moving. Yeah. Okay. And hopefully I'll have a place to do my artwork. Um, there you go. I, well, I, w- I wish you the best then. We're going to, we're going to take more callers on, on here. Okay. okay. Thank you. And, thank you so right. much, Wendy. Okay. But thank you. Very much. All of you. Thank you. I want to talk to you. Bless about- you. Okay. She is a regular caller too, but we haven't heard from her for a while. So, I mean, okay. she's looking when she wants to call, right, Johnny? And mm-hmm. she's chosen yep. you. 
And okay, yeah. I just bought your book, by the way. Okay. I it. am finishing. Well, you know, it's so easy on. I have Amazon Prime, and I just there you, you know searched it, and there it was. And then I got it on my Kindle. I mean, how easy is that? It mm-hmm. you know it's so affordable and. You know, yeah. I I really want, I mean, you have been so amazing today. I want to know more, and I have lots of questions. And Which which like, which book did you get, Speaking to Heaven or Is oh, There More to Life? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, speaking, Speak, speaking to Heaven, because I okay. like that. And you were saying that it gives you signs to look for. Uh-huh. And all these yep. little things that we don't have time to get into all of these little details, but there's so much to it, I'm sure. Oh, so, is. yeah, okay. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, hey, you know, I posted the purchase as well on Facebook. I guess you could share, you know. So all the information is there on my Facebook, and then I'll forward it to Life After Happiness uh, Facebook page, and you'll be able to get see what I just ordered and then see all of the other books. What are your other two books uh, titles? Well, um, is there more to life than we? Uh, is there more to life than what we know? A spiritual journey, awakening, and finding God. It's all about metaphysical science. Anything you want to know about metaphysics is in that book. It talks about twin flames, slow, slow, um, soulmates. Um, talks about life after death. It talks about spirit guides. How to contact your spirit guides, your angels, and speak with them as well. It talks about extraterrestrials. It covers everything, every topic. Um, the other book is called The yeah. Promise. The, Met, um, the Promise is the metaphysical teachings of Jesus. And it's, it's more of a spiritual book on Jesus' life from his birth to his death, but it's written in a metaphysical way instead of the Christian way. It's more open and about his life and, and his lessons mm. and his teachings. And that's channel because wow. I'm a channel. I channel the Christ consciousness or Jesus, and he automatically wrote through me. So that's a channel it's also available in audio books set to music um the is yep. there more to life than what we know and the promise are both on audio books so set to music wow. yeah okay so, wow yeah. it's easy to order everybody oh my gosh i'm so yeah. excited because I, 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 I have a I, I have a store there's a store on my website it shows you all my meditation cds i got about oh. four meditation cds as well i also have cards um um, affirmation cards, and I have cards that are extraterrestrial with light light language on it. So, on there too. Wow! Yeah, I, I got a we lot of need to have on. you back <laughs> on to talk. We haven't had anybody talk about extraterrestrials on the show. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that is a big, big is the realm. Hello, it's very you know it all goes together here, and it's like you think mm-hmm. that we would have had some people discussing that. So. Maybe you could come back and discuss that topic. We can. A lot of there. people want to hear I'm okay. on the show. They want to speak to their loved ones and stuff and know their future. <laughs> That's the oh. thing with me, though. Yeah. My yeah. loved ones. But, We're all, almost done. I don't know where Johnny is probably trying to screen calls, but, I mean, we're coming okay. to our hour. But can you do a little one on me, please, Joseph? Yeah. Um just a Why little I one. The, I mean, you just I hear took the a song, big hooray. exhale. There's hooray for Hollywood I'm hearing for you for some reason. And I don't oh, know why I got so that. Oh, that's sweet, because I'm really thinking of the person that has passed away 16 or 17 years ago. So don't you want to know my relationship? You always what I wanted feel is to this, know. This, this person took you under his wing, and he tried to, um, I don't know, it was almost like a producer or a manager, too, that I'm feeling. Um, but somebody who was there, who like, if I say wanted mm-hmm. to make you a star, does that make you make sense? It does make sense to be, take you under his wing when I was so young. And that was my aspiration to be a model, but I was 20, 21 and living in a town that there was not much. I started okay. working for this person, and he became such my, like, older man friend, like, guidance person. I then hired me all the time, so I was making good income, and we had so much fun. I mean, oh, my gosh, was this the, we would go to Vegas. We would meet in Vegas and just, uh, you know, okay. paint so the this town. Is the, this is the person that I felt. Did he smoke cigars, by the way? 
I think so. I don't remember that too you know, well, I, but I think I that was a part cigar. of his life. Is, is, do you have someone that smokes cigars that you know of? Yes. Is I have someone smoking. Coming? Yeah, this person coming in was a cigar smoker. And I just have oh. this pungent smell of cigars. It could be a grandparent, an uncle, or anything like that. Do you recall? I know. I know one really well, uh, Dr. Gene Scott. He was a pastor, philosopher. He had a he passed TV away? show. Oh, yeah. He passed away many years ago. And he just and, did that pipe oh. and cigar. I don't know. If it, no, wait. That was a pipe. Sorry, Joseph. It's not him. All right, a pipe is fine. Um, That's fine. A pipe or cigar okay. is fine. But I have that smoke okay. coming in. It's not cigarette smoke. It's an unusual smell. So a pipe will have an unusual smell. Um, so and I still have his pipe lighters that they're really cool. They're long and they're very elegant. There we he go. Had a All ranch. Right. Yes. So, beautiful. So this is the this is the person I have to bring through as the pipe smoker because he wants to identify him smoking smoking a pipe then. Okay. And, and, and that's the person I have to bring in. Okay. Hi, Gene. Right. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, wait, Johnny. Okay, he's in the middle of it. I don't what? think that's all he wanted to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. where'd you no, go, Johnny? I'm right here. I was just saying, uh, you know, we have a, a caller if you want to take a caller. Well, I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. He's already but... taking one. It's called me, Johnny. He's on a call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> called Barbara. Okay, right. I... okay. Yeah, right. we were just we were just reading for Barbara <laughs> and all that, and I was bringing in the gentleman. And you know what? I don't know if he <laughs> can take another call, Johnny. It's uh. Two, three minutes till the hour is up. We have to do the shout out. He's getting worn out. I'm the last one. Are you? Are you okay? I'm the last one. He's in the middle of it. Okay. So, can you go over time? Anyway, or is, or is the show cuts off. Yeah, we can. We're okay. We, can. we just don't want to wear you out. That's all right. That's okay. Well, let me just finish up with you, Barbara, and then we'll take that. We'll take one more call. That one that has on hold. Okay. So that person can hold on. I'll make sure, since you already told her or them on there, I'll make sure I get them. Thank you. Um, With you, Barbara, like I said, I feel like those two coming in, the one that was very supportive of you um, in your career when you were younger, he's coming through. And then I have the one who is the pipe smoker. I thought it was cigar, but pipe works with me. And I, I kind of see a picture with a turtleneck with him for some reason um, <laughs> coming in as well. Yeah, um, that's a lot is your fa- type. Is your, but I don't. Is what your... does he want to even say to me? I mean, it's been a long time. I just, I mean, does do people feel like when okay, their friends down there on Earth are like being deep? I'm I'm looking for somebody's past. Some, some, something like. about advertising with you. Um, are you doing any type of advertising work, media work? Oh, gosh, I handled nine handles a day for Life, Laughter, Happiness, and myself, yes. Okay. What I'm hearing is is about your media and advertising. It's television, though, um, that I'm mm-hmm. seeing, though. And I, and I see work. How far are you from Las Vegas? Or not Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Well, I'm starting a new TV show, and I'm, well, I'm doing a very, very important interview, uh, you know, on TV, it all okay. through Europe and Germany, and that will be in a few days. And so I also, Johnny is starting a TV channel for me, and he already has it. He's going to give it to me soon. So, wow, that you hit that one on the head. Okay. Well, that's what they're telling me. That that's where you're going in that direction right now. And Are you close to L.A. in any way? Yeah, just an okay. hour. I'm in Huntington Beach. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm just getting a, a geography where you're at in California. So, and they're just telling me that, um, yeah, that hooray for Hollywood thing is is about getting a TV show and and getting yourself, get and pushing and getting yourself where you need to be. It's almost like I don't know if it's almost like a talk show, um, but that's what I'm feeling too as well. Okay. Yeah, it's like the same thing as this, but on TV, and you mm-hmm. know, I, oh, I almost said his name, but you didn't say any names, so I'm not going to say it. But he would be, he's probably watching what I'm doing all the time. And he's probably so happy for me because he's always been in, in my corner, you know. And when I you... traveled to Alabama, uh, the plane, and then six hours driving into this dry county, really nobody around, all the way there from Beverly Hills. Oh, my gosh, seeing him on that couch dying like that. 
and mm-hmm. he had waited for me for six months and he had the bag on the outside and everything and his sister was there it was all dark I got him up I got him out I wheeled him around on that wheelchair I came back I said now we're going to pray we prayed oh his tears were just streaming down his face he thought all those years 10 years that I was in LA now it's been 25 like 10 years oh Barbara you know lost her faith you know, but he saw that I didn't. I go, why are you crying? Are you afraid to die? And he's like, no, I'm so happy that you have not lost your faith, you know? And it was just a wonderful moment. So I've always wanted to talk to him. And I can't believe the cigar smoker guy came in instead. Ugh. Yeah, well, no, the guy who said hooray from Hollywood, who was, who was there for you when you were starting your career, that was the one who came in first. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's, Thank you. Let's, you're welcome. Okay, let's take All right, the uh, All right. take the last Sorry. caller, eight five six area code. You're on the air. Hi, caller. Welcome to Life Laughter Happiness. You are on live with Joseph Labruto. Hi, Joseph. This is Laura in New Jersey. Hi, Laura. Have I read you for before? Or is this the first time? This is the first time. Okay. Welcome to the show. How can I help you Thank this evening? I um, just want to know if you can connect with uh, my mom or my dad. Okay. I want you to count one to five for me and say your first name, Laura. Do you want me to count out loud? Yeah, count out loud so I can hear your voice and then say your name out loud three one, times. Two, three, four, five. Laura, two. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's good, Laura. Okay. That's good. Yeah, good. All right. Did dad have to be taken care of or mom? Did, did dad have to be taken care of? Let me stick with that first on here. Was he? Did your mom, Did your dad pass first, by the way? Yeah, my dad did pass first. Okay. Did your mom have to take care of him? No, not really. Right. Anything to do with his heart or chest? He did have some heart issues and some other health issues. So did she. Okay. I, what about your mom? Did she have to be taken care of? Some of those very sick. Mom did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Was it a family member, a sibling that had to take care of them? Or so, her mom. So she was living by herself. I quit my job to move home to take care of her. All right. So you're the and, one who had to take care of her. Okay. Right. That's what I needed but, to know. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I just needed to know if you had to, if either you or a sibling had to take care of her because I had her this very sick and that she she needed to be taken care of. Um, what I have also with mom is that um, just the inability to walk or has a very hard time, legs hurting and stuff like that. Did she have a hard time mobility-wise or anything like that um, yeah. with mom? Yeah. And an assistant needs assistant in maybe taking showers or baths and just different things that she needed to be done. Keeping her home as long as she could, I felt as well. Um, mm-hmm. That was very important. And I want to say uh, toward the end is more of a peaceful. Was she, was she in bed when she passed? She was uh, sitting in a chair. She had just eaten her lunch. Okay. All right. And That's she fine. Felt so, yeah. All right. I have her home when she passed. I should just say home, and that's where I have her. Um, Mom and Dad, were oh. they separated for some reason? Joseph, she wasn't home when she passed. She was actually in a nursing facility because oh, okay. I, yeah, so she was there two, for two weeks while I got, I had to move from New Jersey, and I had to get situated in the house and everything, and I had just gotten situated in the house and I was visiting her back and forth and then we I was going to pick her up on Friday and she literally passed on Wednesday. Okay. All right. The situation that I had. Now, was your mother and father separated at one time? No. Okay. But dad passed first. Who's the J? Like Joe or John, by the way. My dad had a best friend named John. 
Okay, who's passed away? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you know? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go another direction. Do you know anybody who passed away in an accident? Yes. Okay, There's male. Some... Male. Okay, I have a I have a male here who passed away of a maybe auto accident or some type of accident that's yes. coming through. All right. He comes now, through who... a lot, actually. <laughs> he does. He, oh, so you have needy readings where he comes through. I got to bring yeah. him through for some reason. And who's who's okay. this person, by the way? He was uh, Michael. Is his name? No, but relationship to you. Just a very good friend in college. Okay, so he's just coming to say hello to you then. Okay, I just so if he was a good friend with you, I think I think I just needed to bring him through just to say hello. Um, when I see the American flag with your dad, did he ever serve, or did anybody serve as a police department or anything like that? John did. He was John was in the police department. John, my dad oh, okay. Was, and my right, dad so also I, in the your dad was Navy. in the police department. No, my dad was okay. in the Navy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so but your dad John, was in the Navy. So, yeah, okay, John served in a. I have like a police, uh, uh, the police, police doing a thing for someone. So this is John. I, John's coming strong for you. I know you don't speak to my to dad and mom, but it seems like he always comes in. I think he just had a thing for you back when, and I just think he needs to need no, to come mean through. Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael, you Michael. Mean I'm Michael. sorry, Michael, yeah. Michael. Yeah, yeah, Michael. Yeah, actually, that different. would be that would be accurate. Okay, and that's why. And <clears throat> and I just see a, a, the police processional, how they honor the police officers. And I, that's what he's showing me as well. Um, Jersey Shores or anything that, with you as well? Um, oh, yeah. Is, is this your dad did you, or anything like that growing up by the water? Yeah, yeah. We Every every summer we would go, we would travel from Pennsylvania to the Jersey Shore for our there vacation. There you go. All yeah. right. And you used to get a, like a beach house close to the, to the water or something like that? We'd stay at, a, at a, one of the hotels. And then okay. I, I live close enough now to the Jersey Shore that I go down periodically myself. Uh, okay. This is what mom and dad's talking about. What they're doing, they're going to your childhood. They're talking about their trips, going to Jersey Shores, to the beach, where you had to, had to go to the beach. And if you're not too far from there, too, they're probably bringing this up as well. I have a big smile. I feel your dad was a gentle person and very kind and gentle person. And I, I feel like this is where he's coming from. Um, you ever go to the Poconos as well as children? No, we didn't. Okay. I have a mountainous area now that they're showing well, me. Yeah, but it wasn't the Poconos. We did go. Uh, what What part, what mountains did you go to? Oh, I don't know. It was my aunt and uncle. They had a cottage, and okay. we used to go and visit with them and, and spend the weekend and was it in Swim Pennsylvania in or? It was Pennsylvania. Okay, that's fine. Mountains in Pennsylvania, I should have just said. <laughs> so, <laughs> there, again, I'm in your childhood. Your parents are showing me how you went to this cottage to your aunt and uncle's house in Pennsylvania and everything. And were you in southern Pennsylvania at all um, by Hershey or um, just south Pittsburgh. for some reason? Pittsburgh. We that's, out, that's southern Pennsylvania, right? Well, no? it's more western. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. You ever been to Hershey, Pennsylvania? I have. Yes, absolutely. Growing up as as a child. We did. We took a trip out there once to go see the chocolate factory while we were out there. All right. Your parents are reminiscing when you were children, so I think this is where they're at right now. And that was that was a great time in their lives when they were young adults and you growing up, and and they just want to bring that up. So. Just to to finish up, mom and dad sends their love. Michael also as well, and yeah. and I and I just want to give you thank you, for giving me the opportunity to connect today. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. All right, Laura. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh, I have a question okay. now. I didn't need to interrupt you or Barbara talking. Uh, if you wanted to go back to what it was you were saying before you, you, we took the call. 
Oh, oh he that's was okay. just doing my reading real quick, I was Johnny. Doing, he was yeah, trying was just, to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Uh, so uh, you did break the flow up a little bit, but it's okay sorry, Barbara. because he's pretty, <laughs> he's pretty talented here. I mean, I'm really blown away. I'm gonna re-listen to that show again. I'd love to listen to the shows again, the ones that have mm-hmm. so much detail. And thank you all of you callers for calling in because it's emotional. I mean, this is like serious stuff here, isn't it, Joseph? I mean, uh, this is intimate stuff. I mean, you they have to know, hey, I'm going to open myself up and he is going to know some personal stuff. And they do that for you. How does that make you feel? Well, that's that's when they do personal stuff like that. It's just a way of validating it's them, just to you know things that only the person's going to know. It's just a it's a more of an intimate way. It's not a generic way. It has it's it's more validating that way, and that's why they get more personal. So okay, so how much energy does that take out of you? And can you give us a yeah. gem, an example of something like we would do that would take our energy out? Yeah, it, it it does take a lot. If, if if you can tell from when I first started and where I am out now, it's like my energy is like whoop on here. Yes. So, no, um, yeah, so my energy I mean, level do does get, rest? get wiped out. Oh, yeah, I, I make sure meditate? I rest between. Not really. And do I you? Watch a lot of, I, okay. I, I watch movies. <laughs> yeah, that's a good you know. meditation. Yeah, that's, that's, well, that's way, great. You know. so. Okay, I just a couple little a quick funny question your friends I mean if I had you as my best friend and was around you every day I mean it'd be hard not to ask you a lot of things I mean do well, you feel pressured ha- to do they always no, ask what happens is is when you get personal with anybody or friends it's very hard to read that person after a while oh, and oh. especially family members I can't read family members at all it's like it drives it drives my girlfriend crazy she said you know when she met me I I was she was a client and now I can't read her she says ah oh, I shouldn't have dated you <laughs> cuz I, so I can't find any, she says I can't find anybody as good as you anymore and now you can't read me anymore <laughs> Well, at least she so, has a clear conscience. You know, some so, people would be like, I'm glad he can't read me. I don't want him to know what I'm thinking well, or what I I've done. I think that has a lot to do with it. It's, it's it's like not invading their privacy. And when you become a friend with somebody, you really don't want to be in their business unless they want to tell you. Right. And and that's exactly. that's how it is. Well, and with family members. That's another good example but, of it is, is that, is, is that uh, um, you know, I was a queen, I a therapist, and um, – Therapists will only treat you under certain circumstances. There's circumstances where they will treat you, you know. Like uh, obviously, I mean, if you're if you know someone really, really well, you know, you, you have two roles. This is why I couldn't go see my father as a psychiatrist. It would never work, you know. Right. Yep. It's the same thing. Yeah, if you're a therapist is- on it. Yep. It's a good analogy. It's just. Amazing that you are doing this full time for a long time now, I think, and your offices are so beautiful and you have a lot of different events going on and you're live on Wednesday on Facebook at eight PM Eastern is that what you said? Yep. Yep, I'm live on okay, Zoom good. through Facebook and people can see me and I I my I co-host with Christine, and Christine's an, um, she does astrology reading as well, and oh. you know she's also my um, events manager too. So oh, that's fun. Uh, okay, yeah. and so we could just log on and and everybody sure. check that out. That's fun. Yeah. And do you, you see in. them too? Uh-huh. And can you, you can see up, what they're writing? Exactly. What you do is you open up your camera, and Christine will take all the names that people that call in. She'll write all the names and put them in a box. And then she'll hand pick, you know, she'll just do a drawing, pick out a name, and that person will get a reading. So. Oh wow. You know, yeah. So if we have like oh. thirty people in the queue, there'll be thirty names in the box, and then she'll shuffle through, pick out a name, and then the person unmutes themselves, and then you can see live our conversation is going back live. And do you just unless do they, the one reading? In. Yeah, just the do one reading. Per the person. one. And how yeah. long is the reading? On, it's like, like when how, you go it's, live. It's, 
No, it's like what I'm doing here, the same amount of time. Okay. Like the readings I just so you, did with everybody here, it's the same amount. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, good. Wow. It's the same, okay. It's, just, it's the wow. same concept of what we're doing. Christine and I will talk a little bit. We'll bring people on, and then I'll read them. And, you know, if Parson doesn't want to get read, that they already had readings, many readings with me, they'll say, oh, I'm just listening. I want to just stay on here. And then they'll give up their reading, and we'll get somebody else next. So, oh, yeah. I like it. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, we really enjoy having you on, and I am looking forward to reading your one of your books and speaking to heaven. It's titled Speaking to Heaven. And every your titles are uh, long. So you know what? You've you've told us the titles. Now all you have to do is go find the one and then you're gonna see the other two, unless you want to tell us again the titles. Um Is There More to Life Than What We Know? And the other book is The Promise, and then Speaking to Heaven. So, and Very just, interesting. Just go, to, just go to my store on my website. So. The one where you're channeling Jesus, is that is going to be the next one I check out, because that, I've never even heard of anything like that. I mean, uh, how wonderful. Yeah I, I, yeah, I had one yesterday, I, live. I'm doing some live events now, small events for the COVID, but... Um, when I, cha- I channel the Ascended Masters where I go into trance and I bring the Masters, they speak through me to people. And yesterday, you know, what they do is they pick people in the audience and they'll, they'll read them about their lives, about what's going on. They'll tell them about what they need to do in their lives, not even knowing the person. And then they'll talk about why we're here and, and little word, words of wisdom they'll talk about. And I just let them come through. Um, and that's what my channeling is about. And that's all about my first book, Is There More to Life Than What We Know? It's all about channeling and meeting my guides and everything. So, Oh, that's so and, interesting. And also to see you, too, is wonderful. We love having you here on the radio, but to see you when mm-hmm. the spirit comes in, in you and takes over your body, I mean, that would be great to see live. <laughs> yeah, I only do. Uh, yeah, I do. I do that only live. I really don't do that on the internet or anything. Um, what's fascinating too is I do. I do seance. It's called transfiguration seance. Where um, picture the room pitch black. We cover all the windows with black pa- plastic, and there's a black drape behind me, and I'm dressed in all black. And we just have a little red light just on my face, very dim, that you could just see the outline of my face. I'll start to go into a trance, and as I go into a trance, you'll start to see cobwebs. It's called ectoplasma. Start to form in front of my face like a little cloud, and then my face will turn into different faces, like a man, a woman, and then it'll be full figure of a person next to me. Um, people have seen their loved ones. Um, different, different spirits come through. You'll see, oh, it's called spirit lights. There'll be little little twinkly lights way above my head you'll see like a little thundercloud it looks like it's like a mist with light going through it above my head and just just different things so i i do that as well that type of seance wow you know when you said that seeing the different faces changing i feel like and i told a lot of psychics on our show on air about this that I, I asked, are these my spirit guides? Because the feeling wasn't a dream. And the feeling was, I've had it before where I'm outside my body and I'm looking at myself and I know it really is. It, I had to write it all down, too many details. And thank God I did because I, can re, I cannot remember. But it was one of those experiences. Yeah. And I then another time, and I was trying to really connect with this stuff, I haven't been working on it lately, though, but I mm-hmm. saw the faces morphing into different faces, like you said. Right, and, then, and that's, that's what that happens, yeah. 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 And that is something, you're the only one who says that's something. What is it exactly? Yeah. Um, it could be loved ones coming through or my, or spirit guides coming through. Um, when I do it, I have the oh. mixture of spirit guides and loved ones. Um, loved ones, when they come through, sometimes they'll speak. Like, um, we had an incident where um, a young man came through with long hair and, like, a beard, like, goatee with no shirt. Everybody in the audience, everybody sees the same thing, and everybody's saying, look, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. But then the mother in the, mother in the front row was crying. She says, no, it's not Jesus, it's my son. 
And then after the event, she pulled out her phone and she showed a picture, the same picture that everybody saw, her shirt, some without a shirt on with the long hair and the goatee. And then everybody said, oh, my God, that was him. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so, people, so people do see their loved ones come through as well. Oh, so, oh that is really yeah. great. I love being open to this. So thank you oh. so much. We really well, enjoyed it, and I'm sure our callers did too. Well, thank thank both of you for having me on again. It was a pleasure and privilege and honor as well. Yes. Have you um, oh, you shout out yet? You. I ha- no, I was just going to thank everybody and do the shout out. So this is going to be up on our YouTube channel, Life, Laughter, Happiness YouTube. So you're going to be able to find this show and listen to it again. And while you're there, please subscribe and follow. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel, Joseph? Do I have what? A YouTube channel. Yes, I do. I do have a YouTube channel. Okay. So yeah, do you want to yeah. uh, do a shout-out about that, too? Because we're going to have this Bye. show on YouTube, and you could share it on yours. Yeah, it's just Joseph Liberto is my YouTube channel. So, okay, um, so yeah. then that'll be yeah. great because we want all of your people to hear this too. And yeah, I'll make sure I, I'll make sure I I'll make sure I share it onto my channel. So awesome! So my channel and we also well. we have okay. a new Roku. We have a new TV channel on Roku, and it's called Life Laughter Happiness. And we're loading well, it you, up with great content. Well, if you do so any live broadcast, if you do any live live broadcasting where I can zoom in or Skype in, let me know and I'll be happy to do a live. Thing oh, that's too. great! Right, Johnny? Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. We would love to. Yeah. Oh, I already have an idea of what I want him for, and I'll talk to you about it after the show. But I'm very excited, mm-hmm. and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I thank you for my personal readings too. I feel you're, connected. You're welcome. With family. Yeah. Okay. And yes, and so follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're posting a lot, a lot of different things throughout the week. And follow us. So thank you so much, Joseph Labruto the Third, by the way, because you have two Facebooks and we want to send them to that Facebook so they can right. get all of your information yeah, it, for it'll be the professional like, one. It'll be uh, American Most Love Medium, Joseph Labruto. Oh, I love that. Amer- that American Most yeah. Love Medium. That's that's my professional I page where I have that. all my events up. So I yeah. used that for you today because I like that. Perfect. I like Perfect. the yeah, American Most perfect. Love Psychic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Best medium. All right. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening. And thank you, Johnny. And good night, Joseph Labruto. Okay, good night. Good night.